Hey Tea Sipping Bookworms, it's me Gabby, the author from Tea and the blog of books, tea and everything me, and you're watching another book review. Okay, so the book that I'm reviewing today is entitled Men Who Hate Women and the Women Who Love Them by Dr. Susan Ford and Joan Torres. Controversial title, but the contents are more or less controversial and so edifying. Okay, so you know how I like to do my book reviews. I like to, one, tell you where I got the book, so maybe you can get it too if you want to read it. I like to also read the summary of the book because the summary of the book just explains the book so much better than I can. Then I like to share with you three points that I gleaned from the book. Perhaps these are points that will make you want to read the book. And then I share with you some of the things that you can look forward to directly in the blog post itself. And at the end of this book review, if there's anything that I did not like about this book, and I'll let you know. So let's go. Okay, so where did I get this book? I got this book from my book godmother, I call her. <laughs> my friend Yahida gave me this book and she gave me this book right on time as she usually does. So that's the reason why I call her my book godmother. This book came after a breakup and I was like, yeah, 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 I needed that. I um, was given this book by her, my friend Yahida, but um, it's falling apart. <laughs> So I found it on Amazon hard copy and you can find it there too. All right, so let me read the summary of the book to you so that you can know what the book is about. Is this the way love is supposed to feel? Does the man you love assume the right to control how you live and behave? Have you given up important activities or people to keep him happy? Is he extremely jealous and possessive? Does he switch from charm to anger without warning? Does he belittle your opinions, your feelings or your accomplishments? Does he withdraw love, money, approval, or sex to punish you? Does he blame you for everything that goes wrong in the relationship? Do you find yourself walking on eggs and apologizing all the time? If the questions here reveal a familiar pattern, you may be in love with a misogynist, a man who loves you, yet causes you tremendous pain because he acts as if he hates you. In this superb self-help guide, Dr. Susan Ford draws on case histories and the voices of men and women trapped in these relationships to help you understand your man's destructive pattern, the part you play in it, how to break the pattern, heal the hurt, regain your self-respect, and either rebuild your relationship or find the courage to love a truly loving man. Okay, so like I said, I was given this book by my friend Yahaira whenever I was going through a breakup. So even though the guy that I was dating wasn't this bad, there were similarities um, in this book that were really helpful um, for me to just really understand that getting out of that relationship was the best thing for me to do. So um, I'm grateful for this book. But like I said, the guy that I was dating wasn't, he, he wasn't, you know, horrible, but reading the first few pages of this book I was like yeah yeah that's that's us that's us yeah that's us too you know so right on time okay so let me share with you the three points that I really loved about this book and perhaps you will love these points and perhaps other points too so I got my notes to stay on track one I loved how the book simply defined what a misogynist is the book defined it and now if you don't know what a misogynist is you might be living under a rock because the term has really been well defined on social media in you know just the social spaces but if you don't know what a misogynist is for whatever reason then this book will explain to you what a misogynist, misogynist is how a misogynist behaves how they think their line of thought their reasoning but what i also liked about the book is that the book didn't just you know like condemn misogynist but it also explained how men become misogynist the abuse that they suffer when they're children and how it turns them into misogynist so i liked that it gave the full spectrum just in case you're dealing with someone who has misogynistic views or misogynistic tendencies then you won't see them as all evil and maybe you'll have the patience to even work with them so i liked that i like that about the book the second point that i liked about the book is that the book's material is broken up or divided up into very concise reading so for example in chapter two it's called the end of the honeymoon because the honeymoon phase always ends <laughs> but then there's shortly after the chapter starts there's a t subtitle um entitled rationalizing his behavior 
and then you know a little bit of reading and then you have another subtitle Jekyll and hiding because that is a thing I told my ex-boyfriend I said you know what I don't think you're a bad person but <laughs> I feel like you're two different people I feel like you're Dr. Jekyll really sweet really kind really really generous and then you're Mr. Hyde you actually hate me that's what I feel like and that's just too much it's too many games so I gotta go that's what I told him Anyways, I really like how the book is broken up into these subtitles, makes it easier to read and easier to digest, um, easier for you to learn what is actually happening instead of like reading long sections at a time. You kind of read these short, concise sections at a time and I like that. So the last point or the last thing that I liked about this book is that towards the end, there are multiple, at least a handful of activities that you can do to concretize what it is that you learned. So it really helps you cement what you've learned in your brain you know um the activities i've done all the activities except one me and my friend yahida are going to do them together and or do that one together and it's where you like bury all the negativity that you like you write it down and you bury i, I have to look at the activity again but it's a really cool activity and we decided that we're going to do it together so we're yet to choose a day and choose a location um <laughs> to bury something without looking really weird <laughs> okay so this is what you can look forward to in the blog post directly in the blog post i am going to share four components of a misogynistic relationship the four components of a misogynistic relationship so you can get an idea if you're actually in a misogynistic relationship or not and then i'm going to share the three statements that you should repeat in your head whenever you are trying to process your anger and then I'm going to answer this question. Do I believe that all men are misogynists? You can go to the blog post to find out. <laughs> okay, was there anything about this book that I absolutely did not like? No, not really. The only thing I didn't like was that it was paperback and it was falling apart. <laughs> so I'll have to get it in hard, um, you know, hard copy, which is the reason why I like hard copy. But there's nothing about this reading that I did not like. Well written very edifying and i'm glad i read it well that is the end of this book review um men who hate women and the women who love them that is it um if you liked this book review uh then like hit the like button because then maybe somebody else will like it too you just never know make sure you follow at t and blog on instagram follow at gabby the author that's g-a-b-i-e the author on tiktok and subscribe to tnblog.com it's free and it's fun and that is t end of this book review guys whatever you do just make sure that you keep sipping and reading happily ever after <laughs>